on our run back down south from Mission Point on Bribey Island. We've had a bit of wind, most of the, the motor back down, but it's been right on the nose. We're just getting out where it starts to open up a little bit. We've got enough wind, we've got the sails up. We're sailing. I think we're on track for our meet up with Chris Joseph. Can't see him yet. But he was going to sail out to meet us as we were coming back south. We've been trying to meet up for the last, I suppose, week and a half. But things just haven't aligned. But I think we've, we've got there. I spoke to him this morning and he was rigging up and getting ready to get the boat in the water at Spinnaker Sound, I think. So we should see him very, very shortly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Us. Sorry? I don't think it'll be us. You don't think so? Uh, is this real? No, Ultimate 18. Oh. So, did someone just make you an offer that was too good to refuse on the Sonata or? I've made a, yeah, a fair offer. Yeah. And, because uh, um, you seem pretty attached to it. At the time, I was surprised when you said yeah. it was gone. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did like it, but I get I get attached to all my boats. Yeah, <laughs> and you seem like someone that enjoys a project. So yeah. once the project's done, you're looking for the next one. I think uh, some, a lot of people talk about whether they prefer um, fixing up boats or sailing boats, and I would have always said that I preferred sailing boats. But um, I think as you get older probably start to lean more towards fixing up boats, that's what I'm finding at the moment. But yeah. I do love sailing, I love yeah. 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 It's got to be a reward at the end of the project, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, we've been pretty lucky with this, um, really haven't needed to do too much to it at all. Did I put a, a new axle under the trailer, it, it needed um, new brakes and I thought I wanted to go from hydraulic to cable brakes. And the, the brakes were all, you know, the bolts were all seized and everything. It hadn't been looked after for quite a while, I'd say, the, the brake side of things. So I just thought this is going to be easy to just rip the whole axle out and, and replace that, and everything else was good. I think that um, number one, it needs a trailer. Yeah. If it's a trailer sailor, that's why the word trailer comes first. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that'd be, be number one. Um, it doesn't get to the water without the trailer. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people just do a lot of motoring and not much sailing, don't they? Yeah. Whereas we want to do almost all sailing, you know, we'd, we'd prefer to go slowly and sail mm, yeah. and, and tack all over the place than yep. have the motor on for too long. I suppose we should stop chatting and yeah, do I some sailing. <laughs> well, that's a pretty big 
big. Yeah. I'm going to get the foot of the side off the foot. Look at that, it's like 130-140%. <laughs> it should be original. There you go, perfect. We've got it on video. You get the bit where, where we use the terminology. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> After a good chat with Chris and Dave, we made use of the perfect conditions for a sale. Although Chris had thought we would have the faster boat, we found it difficult to keep up with him in his Sunday 20. Okay, see there? At times we made up ground only to have them pull away again. Still, we had a great time tacking our way down the Briley Passage. If you're not familiar with Chris Joseph, check out his channel. He has plenty of videos including some great sailing and boat repair content. Many that I've enjoyed and found useful myself. Five, what we got? With the day getting on, it was time for us to pack away the sails, say our goodbyes and start our long journey back to a cold and rainy Victoria. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's very nice to meet you guys. Alright, I'll chat to you.
Only moments later, our day took a massive turn for the worse. As I wound up the swing keel, I noticed the brand new steel cable was separating and somehow looking very worn. Then, bang. And that was it. The keel cable was broken. Oh, shit. What happened? Keel. Nah, keel cable broke. I've been looking at that thinking it didn't look good. What happens now? We can still drag it onto the trailer. Sort of push up as it goes on, yeah? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I was looking at it thinking that keel cable just looked like it was separating and... That was a new one. Yeah. yeah. Let's get the bloody old one on. Luckily we managed to get the boat back to the ramp and onto the trailer without too much difficulty. I was concerned what the damage would be, and with the boat back on the trailer, the damage was clear. The 250 kilogram keel had swung through, striking the front of the keel box, making a sizeable hole. So it looks like I'm learning how to repair fiberglass now. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to see if I can learn yet another new skill and if we can get Lady Emma back on the water. See you next time.